This equation shows an example of redox reactions in electrochemistry. Redox reaction involves both oxidation and reduction that occur simultaneously. Zinc is the reducing agent. It loses electron and undergoes oxidation to become zinc ion. The oxidation number increases from 0 to positive 2. Copper ion is the oxidizing agent. It accepts electron and undergoes reduction forming copper. The oxidation number decreases from positive 2 to 0. There are two types of electrochemical cells, namely galvanic cell and electrolytic cell. These are the differences between galvanic cell and electrolytic cell. In this subtopic 3.1, we will focus on galvanic cell. A galvanic cell is also known as voltaic cell. It consists of two half cells which are joined by an external circuit and a salt bridge. The diagram shown here is a zinc copper voltaic cell, also known as Daniel cell which is built from zinc half cell and copper half cell. A half cell is a portion of a galvanic cell in which a half reaction takes place. Anode is the electrode at which oxidation occurs, whereas cathode is the electrode at which reduction occurs. Remember an ox and red cat. Oxidation occurs at anode, reduction occurs at cathode. Electropotential is the potential difference produced between an electrode and the solution in a half cell. The potential difference between the anode and cathode that causes the electron to flow through the circuit is known as cell voltage electromotive forces, EMF, or cell potential, E cell. Let's look at Daniel cell again. In zinc half cell, zinc electrode is immersed in zinc sulfate solution. In copper half cell, we have copper electrode immersed in copper sulfate solution. Zinc electrode is anode because zinc is oxidized to zinc ion. The electrons flow from anode to cathode through the external circuit. So, anode is negative electrode and the cathode is positive electrode. At copper half cell, the copper ions undergoes reduction forming copper solid. Due to chemical reaction occurring at cathode and anode, we can observe that zinc electrode dissolves whereas copper is deposited at cathode. Besides, the blue color of copper sulfate solution fades due to the decrease in concentration of copper ion. The function of the salt bridge used in galvanic cell is to maintain the electrical neutrality of the solutions surrounding the electrodes and allow the free flow of ions from one half cell to another. The function of the salt bridge can be illustrated using the following example. 
in anode half cell, as oxidation occurs, zinc ions enter the solution, causing an overall excess of positive charge in the solution. As a result, N ions in the salt bridge move to zinc half cell to balance the charge. In the other half cell, copper ions are attracted to the cathode to undergo reduction. Copper ions leave the solution, leaving excess of negative charge. Therefore, cations from the salt bridge move to copper half cell to maintain the electrical neutrality of the solution. If there is no salt bridge, this will happen. A cell notation is a shorthand description of galvanic cell. We can apply ABC rule in writing cell notation. A is anode on the left, B means salt bridge in the middle, and C means cathode on the right. We also use single line to represent different phases, comma for same phase. Double line represents salt bridge. And if all the substances involved are aqueous or gas, a platinum or graphite electrode is indicated. For the above galvanic cell, the cell notation is written as follows. Single vertical lines indicate phase boundary, while double line indicate salt bridge. For aqueous solution, beside the phase, the ion concentration is also indicated in parenthesis. In the above galvanic cell, an inert platinum electrode is used for the half cell containing iron 2 plus and iron 3 plus ions. Hence, the anode half cell in the cell notation is written this way. Comma is used to separate two different ions of the same phase. As for chlorine half cell, a platinum electrode is also used since there are only gas and aqueous solution involved. Single vertical lines are used to separate substances of different phases. All electrodes are written at both ends of the cell notation. <laughs>